Many products from Skyhoy, they have not only an Ethernet jack, but also a USB-A port. And that is becoming increasingly useful and popular for attaching external devices. For instance, you can have a second Ethernet connection. You can also attach Stream Deck, X-Keys devices. You can attach a keyboard, and that's what this is about. So I have a regular gaming keyboard here. I can basically attach it to my PDC View, which is the controller that I just used today in this video. Let me see. Ah, simulation. Let's go to simulation. PDC View looks like this. Okay. Uh, a blue pill would do the same. Blue pill server is essentially the brain you find inside PDC View. And in this video, it's just becoming the being the host of the demonstration. On the Skahoy wiki, you can access articles about hit devices on raw panel. And that will introduce you to how all these different types of devices can be connected, including the generic keyboard and which keyboards are available also which vendor id and product id are supported and uh, since your keyboard is most likely not the same as mine you need to probably in use this code string with the right numbers to actually identify your keyboard there are information in this article about it so i'll invite you to go that route but the application that is being installed on your blue pill to facilitate this is called x panel hits and um i have it already installed but i need to start it up and if we look at the uh, log of this one, let's just clear that out. Um, you can see, yeah, um, <clears throat> I press start. And as I do so, it starts up and it is recognizing that I have a keyboard at it, which is now available as a raw panel on this particular port. So the moment that is the case, anytime you scan the network, you'll find that, that panel. And that's what happens when you add a panel inside of Reactor's home screen. There, it basically finds a lot of panels on the network. Many of these are from the Skahoy network. There are many Skahoy controllers, obviously, but there's also like the, if I just filter by keyboard, you can see XP hits generic keyboard is this particular keyboard right here. And it is also confirmed by the IP address being the IP address of my PDC view, which is hosting it. So I'll select it. It is now added and I could create a custom configuration for it. You see, I have already associated an ATEM Mini with my uh, demonstration today. So let's uh, find the uh, wait software control for the ATEM Mini. Let's just pull this up. Yes. Okay. So I have an ATEM Mini here and I just want to show you real quick how I can do simple program preview or just preview selection on it. So it's it's going to be quick and, and, and dirty, but let's first go to the um, simulator here. In the simulator, basically, I can see the two panels that I have um, on on my uh, on my uh, blue pill PDC uh, view here. If I press buttons on the PDC view, you see a response in the simulator because I'm now pressing buttons physically on this controller. If I do the same for the keyboard, you see triggers are entered onto my keyboard here from uh, the keyboard. So everything is available to you. Escape, function, keys, space, key. Uh, you have the um, shift, control, GUI key. Every single key on a 105 key keyboard is in this way raw panel enabled and sending a trigger into Reactor. Before ending this video, I want to show you how the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, the number keys on the keyboard could be used to select sources on preview on an ATEM switcher just to associate it with some broadcast technology. So I'll basically drag across these. Ah, let's just do it again. Across these number keys here, then I'll scroll down and find preview select. And then I'll set the ME row to just ME number one, the input, I'll just start it out for all of the four keys by one, then I'll automatically increase it, press done. And now on each of these keys, if we just check one, two, three, four, five, uh, four. Yeah. Um, and now let's look at the ATEM software control. Just put that in here. And then I press the number one, two, three, four, two, three, four, selecting sources on the ATEM. So <clears throat> I said the keyboard is now a network device. It means that on the IP address of my blue pill, this IP address up here, on the port that was specified, I now have this device um, not under control, but I get received triggers from it. So what we typically teach people is with raw panel devices, you connect using uh, Telnet, Putty on Windows, NC on Mac, uh, a TCP connection to it. If you type in list, you identify as a ASCII compliant 
client and then any key press you make on the keyboard will result in commands like this. Those numbers, by the way, are the official key numbers on keyboards. So it is like um, the, the public standard for that. Um, and in, in essence, agnostic um, with relation to what the key is. The number four is the A key on my keyboard, but I think it's different on the French keyboard. So, but that is the translation done on the uh, actual operating system side of things. Thanks for watching this video. There are more videos, more exciting about um, keyboards connected to your blue pill because the natural next step would be, is it possible to move that keyboard input over the network to a computer somewhere? But that's in a different video.